Welcome to the second episode of how to build AI agents the right way. A quick refresher, we're building AI agent with a chat interface, agent configuration, model configuration, and AI tools and data access, or a set of tools. This agent will be able, by the end of the series, answer questions about your own data stored in this case in a Google Sheets, but could be in any other database. A quick refresher, if you missed the first lesson and you don't know what is a token or what is a context, click the link up here, as well as one in description, to go to the episode one and watch the introductionary terms and where do we start. In today's episode, we will sign up for an A10 account and we will sign up for OpenAI API key, put it together, and within the next 10 minutes or so, you will have a working agent with a chat interface and ability to provide the basic configuration. Without further ado, let's go. So why do we use NA10? NA10 is one of the leading and the most one of the most popular solutions out there that is open source, has a commercial tier to it. It can be hosted, you can self-host it. It's very popular on a GitHub. It has over 11,000 stars. It's been one of the highest ranked open source repositories for agent and AI automation. It provides a simple to understand low code, no code interface. What does it mean low code, no code? It means that you can build stuff in the pure code if you like, if that's what you're inclined to. But if you are a business user and you're looking to automate the workflow or process, you could just connect the boxes together without writing a single line of code, which is exactly what we're doing for this agent implementation. 